Lamar Jackson did not play and is still obviously looking for a new deal. And Jeremy Fowler had this to say on Get Up this morning. The people I'm talking to believe that this very well might not get done by week one because there's a gap in the pay of like guaranteed money and the structure of a contract. Lamar Jackson wants very strong guarantees and he's got the blueprint with Deshaun Watson and the fully guaranteed deal that he got 230 million. So if it's anything close to that, which I believe that it is, it's going to be an issue for Baltimore to get there. Now, I did hear the Ravens have made a push in recent weeks after Kyler Murray's deal got done, which sort of reignited the quarterback market. The Ravens have put forth some of their best efforts to try to get this done. So maybe they can get it to the finish line. I mean, if they can get it to the finish line by the start of the season, that'll be a miracle. But Emily, should Lamar be playing without a new deal? Absolutely not. And if he had an agent, they would be telling him no. And look, I get it. Yeah. People don't want to pay agent fees. They're very annoying. However, there's a reason that every top entertainer in the world essentially has one. I bet everyone at this table has an agent. And that's because agents do work. Look no further than Deshaun Watson. If he didn't have an agent, do you think that he was going to get this deal <laughs> with the largest guaranteed no. money in NFL history while he was facing dozens of credible accusations of sexual misconduct and a potential one-year suspension? Heck no. But his agent understood the market dynamics and understood that the Cleveland Browns were so desperate to move on from Cle uh, Baker Mayfield that they were willing to strike this deal. If Lamar had an agent, they would be recommending that he would do a hold-in, just like T.J. Watt did last year. That worked very effectively for him. But he has all the leverage he needs right now. I mean, they're 37-12, and 12, the Baltimore Ravens are, with Lamar Jackson as a starter, 6-10 and 10 without him. Use that leverage. You have your offensive coordinator right now, Greg Roman, saying, quote, he's throwing the ball better than ever before. That's all the leverage you need. Hold in, get the new deal, and then go play. Don't risk anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm – I'm, uh... I can't – if I'm Lamar, me personally, I would not go out on that football field mm. uh, and play. But I can't – I can't sit up here and say I'm going to question Lamar Jackson and his choice because he's been uh, defeating the odds and fighting the odds since he started playing football, right? They, they, they told him that he couldn't be a quarterback in college. Louisville was the only team that would allow him to be a quarterback. He did that, won the Heisman. They told him he should have changed positions when he came out for the draft. He's beat those odds. He became the MVP. But I will say on the agent part – I, I definitely want it to work because we haven't seen a player of his magnitude, uh, especially a franchise quarterback, uh, get money like this without having an agent. So I Could do want it to, I, yeah, I do yeah. want it to work out for him. But I'm not stepping foot on that football field. Here's the scary part, though: if you're the Baltimore Ravens, if he does go out there and win a Super Bowl like we've seen Joe Flacco do, the pressure that's going to put on them. But I'm not even taking that risk, though. I need my money now. Here's what I'll say about this, Harry, on the agent front. You don't have to have an agent to know that as a player, the closer you get to free agency, the closer you get to realizing your market value. And, guys, there's only mm. one reason why Lamar Jackson doesn't have a new deal. It's because the Baltimore Ravens haven't made him a contract offer that makes him the highest paid player, both in average annual value and in guaranteed money. And if you're Lamar Jackson as a 25-year-old that's got an MVP on your belt and been in the playoffs in three seasons since you become the starter, then that's absolutely what you would be pushing for. There's no reason for Lamar Jackson to sign a contract that says anything other than him being the highest paid quarterback in the National Football League. That means north of $50 million a year. That means north of $230 million in guaranteed money. Now, as far as him playing, I don't have a problem with him playing and incurring the risk of injury because guess what, guys? We saw the very same thing with Dak Prescott several years ago. Dak Prescott had his ankle and his kneecap facing different directions. And you know what happened that offseason? He signed a contract that gave him $40 million a year and gave him $70 million in year one. I, I don't think you have to worry about it when it comes to the quarterback position specifically because of all of the protections that the game has around the quarterback and because of the scarcity at the quarterback spot. Mm. There are never enough quality quarterbacks to go around. You're talking about at any given time, half the league looking for starting quarterbacks. Listen, Lamar Jackson is one of the 10 best quarterbacks that the game has to offer. Even if he gets hurt, that's not going to stop him from getting his bag unless it's a career-ending injury. So I, I don't have a problem with Lamar Jackson taking the field and playing the string out when it comes to his contract because he's going to get his money either way. But when he does sign his new deal, he should be the highest paid player in the National Football League. Now, Chris, I agree with you. If I'm Lamar Jackson, I'm not taking anything less than being the highest paid quarterback and having the most guaranteed money as well. The flip side of that is that I don't think it's the same situation as Dak Prescott because Dak Prescott 
does most of his damage with his arm, not his legs. We know Lamar Jackson runs, and he's a dual-threat quarterback. He can do it with both. So in saying that, if he has a lower body injury like, like a Dak Prescott, is he going to get his money? Yes. Is it going to be the amount that he wanted to be? Probably not, because how heavily they rely on him in the run game and him being involved with that with his legs. I'm so with Harry here. And, like, Chris, we understand, like, they need him, and, and he wants this new contract. And you talked about this in the past where they're not offering him exactly what he wants. What leverage does he have? His own availability. Like, that's the one leveraging yeah. chip that he has that he can use right now. Just don't show up and say, hey, if you really need me and there's a shortage of quarterbacks in this league – then pay me what I'm worth. And Harry's completely bang on here where because he's so unique, that's why they won't give him this contract because they're saying, well, you're different than quarterbacks in the past, the injury risk, we're worried about your wear and tear. Well, then it's different than Dak Prescott and then he's not going to get that same situation. And also, Jerry Jones is maybe a little more lenient than some other owners. <laughs> Oh, Chris. Listen, well, Steve Bashotti loves Lamar Jackson just as much as Jerry Jones loves Dak Prescott. There's no question about that in my mind. And if you're Lamar, he's still scheduled to make north of $20 million this year. I, I mean, that's, that's not nothing. Why forego that? You still have an opportunity to get another crude season and get closer to true free agency, which is when you can hit teams over the head. And we've seen quarterbacks in the past that did that. Kirk Cousins did that, played the franchise game, and won. Joe Flacco bet on himself with the Baltimore Ravens, and he got paid after he won a Super Bowl become the highest paid quarterback. Guys, it can happen. I get that Lamar Jackson's play style is a little bit different, but the risk that he's taking is worth the potential reward when you talk about the difference in the contract that they could potentially have on the table now versus what he could command if he gets to a situation where he's a true free agent. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.